Indian economy, let's look at as on day, September 2021. Indian companies in Qatar collaboration in infrastructure, information and communication technology and preparedness for Qatar FIFA 2022. That's a good sign. Qatar Economic Forum, July 2021. Witness participation from Tata's, Reliance, Bharti Atal, Birla and others. Qatar Economic Forum was well attended uh, this month. During the second wave, Qatar sent three oxygen generating plants and medical assistance to India and ventilators as well. So that's a, a good uh, friendship gesture. India has joined UN Security Council as a non-permanent member for 21 to 22. That's also a good development. So UN Security Council, non-permanent member 21, 22. Now, Qatar India focus on trade and investment is important. To build resilient supply chains that deals with food and health security of the people. Joint working group between Qatar and India on the field of health. Healthcare also is improving between these two countries and they are transferring the knowledge and uh, many Indian doctors are practicing here. Many Indian clinics are now well known. Setting up a joint working group between two commerce ministries to discuss trade and commerce. That's a very welcome uh, development as such. Number of agencies, KFC, IFSC and financial service centers are all working together. They are all agreeing to each other to see how the cross-border uh, connectivity can be established through the financial centers. Direct shipping lines between Qatar and India have increased. If you look at the trade volumes, to strengthen the logistics for trade cooperations between countries, direct uh, uh, shipping lines are very important. Institutions in Qatar and India to work on knowledge partnership in the field of such as science is important, mathematics, agriculture, research and innovation. By 2023, that is in another two years time, 50th anniversary of the establishment of full diplomatic relations between India and Qatar is going to ignite the market space. India produces 100 million doses of COVID-19 per month, which are, you know, if you look at, that's huge. 100 million COVID-19, if you look at the doses, is huge. COVID shield by uh, Serum Institute and Covaxin by Bharat Biotech. These two companies are now truly global in terms of exporting the vaccines. Now, Indian Railway to become net zero carbon emission. That's very, very important to create a green mission and the execution as we need, a, you know, carbon emission reduction in India. So then to start with the railways, net zero carbon emission by 2023, that's a welcome move. IT industry will see a strong recovery in 21-22 with a growth of 11% by rating agencies crisis. If you look at IT industry, they will be growing further. That's the momentum we are seeing on in terms of e-commerce, e especially uh, during this COVID pandemic. Now, Indian government is investing 11,000 crores in edible oil ecosystems. That's a welcome move. Uh, the Prime Minister of India, Mr. Modi, Narendra Modi, launches Ujwala 2. He has already announced in 2014 Ujwala 1. Ujwala 2 now aimed to provide greater LPG connectivity. In first phase of the, you know, 8 crores people were given free cooking gas connections. Across 13 sectors, performance linked initiatives promise to upscale manufacturing in India. Six tech platforms launched to ramp local manufacturing in India. India's merchandise expertise, if you look at the exports, uh, that's reached 35.2 billion by July 2021, nearly 48% over last year. A spike in exports boosted overall merchandise oil exports as well. So if you look at the big picture, Oh, things are improving. More than 10 lakh Indians in Kuwait, if you look at Kuwait, GCC, Kuwait, they're all performing and they're remitting and contributing to the uh, Indian economy as well as the economic development of Kuwait. Kuwait sent nearly 450 
metric ton liquid oxygen, almost 15,000 oxygen cylinders to India within a month during Ramadan and Eid. That's a good gesture again, like Qatar did. India ranks third worldwide for pharmaceutical production by volume and 14th by value. Network of 3,000 drug companies and 10,000 manufacturing units. Third worldwide pharmaceutical production. And you know, it's in terms of the volume, 14 by value. If you look at the big picture, that's the gap is coming on account of the, the cost effective medicine, but it's getting closed. The supply is moving in the right direction. And uh, mortality in children, if you look at under five years, came down to 39.4 in 2017 from 126 in 1990. So that's also a good sign. Literacy rates in India has increased from almost 69 percent to nearly 74 percent in 2018, between the last seven years. More than 100 million children receive education at a primary level. That's one crore, what we call it as. So it is. It's all moving in the right direction. As per 1961 uh, census, India had. 1,652 languages. How many? 1,652 languages we have in India. 36 world heritages and 103 national parks. Heritage sites, 36. Now, this is designated by uh, UNESCO. Today, literacy rate is up. Average life expectancy nearing 70 years of age and 280 million people pulled out of poverty in 21st century. That's huge, nearly 28 crores. 65 percent of the population is below 35 years of age. That's a good demographic dividend. Youth came together to fight with apps and oxygen during COVID-19. Now, so much apps are being adopted, even in a small shop. If you take one rupee tea in a roadside shop, you, know, you use the apps startups, BPOs, e-commerce and mobility are led by youth. Many unicorns and tech startups have emerged in India. I had the privilege of addressing the uh, Times of India uh, Economic Summit um, consecutive few years and I know the energy levels of the young entrepreneurs in India. The ecosystem, startup ecosystems in India is really uh, committed and they are now reaching out uh, for the global funding. Now, there's plenty of actions are happening in the marketplace if you look at, and the Gulf is also a direct uh, contributory as well as beneficiary in total terms. So the Gulf plays a very important relationship and it's a very progressive relationship in terms of trade, investment, banking and finance.